Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for January 10th through the 16th, 2021. I do want to remind everyone that this is a general reading and is therefore not going to resonate with everyone. If you would like a personal one-to-one -one reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. Simply email me and I'll be happy to get that set up for you. Also, I hope you subscribe to the channel because when you do so, it throws your energy in with the rest of us and that'll make it easier for me to pick up on your story. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Speaking of story, um, please do not try to wedge yourself into a story that does not fit you. It's just not going to be helpful to anyone. If it's not resonating with you, it's just not your story. All right. If it is resonating with you, be aware that roles can reverse and energy is fluid, so timelines can also vary. Um, so take what, what is resonating with you, simply leave the rest for someone else, all right? So Pisces, we're gonna pull your energy. We're gonna pull the energy of the person you're connecting with, and then we'll pull the energy of the connection. We'll go ahead and get an outcome for the end of the week, and then we'll pull some of the lover's oracles just to kind of clarify and wrap it up, see if there's any further messages. Spirit, can I have the energy of Pisces, please? Okay, so Pisces, we have the devil. We have the seven of wands in reverse. We have the hierophant in reverse. And we have the star card. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn. You don't have to be. Um, however, what I'm looking at is that there is something here that is very toxic, possibly very toxic. Um, and I feel as if, you know, it, whatever this is, you have had difficulty standing your ground with this in the past. Um, you know, there's a need for boundaries here. Um, and also with the star in reverse, this may be something that you may have really hoped for, but possibly we're not very committed to um, with the Hierophant in reverse and the star. So you, you may have been very hopeful for it, maybe really wanted it, but you weren't very committed to it at the same time. Um, yeah, I feel as if there, there's definitely a lack of boundaries involved in this. There's some toxicity here on several different levels. So, you know, whatever this is, um, I, I'm, I'm looking at a need for boundaries with this. So we'll clarify that. It looks like something you really want, but you're not committed to, which is, is odd to me. All right. Um, let's see the energy of the person you're connecting to, Pisces. All right, so they have the Ten of Wands in reverse, the King of Swords in the reverse, possibly could be an air sign, doesn't have to be, if so, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then we also have the Chariot in reverse. Now, this, um, this would be an individual that may be coming across as very angry, very cold, um, can be somewhat cutting. Um, the King of Swords in reverse definitely comes across as angry. Um, so this person may be a little, that might be the toxicity that you're dealing with. Um, whatever the situation is, this person um, has in the past felt extremely burdened. I do feel like something has happened that has given this person some clarity and allowed them to drop those burdens. Um, so they're they're healing from that. They're they're dropping those burdens, and they have a newfound sense of clarity. Um, but they're very angry, and I don't feel as if this person is moving forward in their life in a very successful manner at this time. That may be why they feel angry. They may be feeling a little bit stuck. So let's um, let's see what is the energy of the connection. Okay, so we have the death card with the connection. So this connection is transforming. Um, it could be a connection that has ended or it could just be simply transforming. Let's see, what is affecting this connection? What is affecting this connection? Yeah, it's ending. Um, we have the 10 of pentacles in the reverse. This is a long-standing connection that's ending. And this individual is very angry. 
very angry. They feel very stuck. They feel angry. They're not moving forward successfully. So that's the ending of a commitment. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. So Pisces, you felt like this was a toxic connection. You may have also felt like this was a connection that was extremely strong. Um, the connection was, was stronger than you would normally see. Like there's a very deep, deep um, connection here that you feel like you can't escape from. Um, and it might be ending even though at some point this was something that you really, really wanted. Um, but I don't see you fighting for it. I don't see you fighting for the connection. Let's see, what is um, what is the outcome at the end of the week? We'll clarify all of these cards. There is a level of toxicity in this connection, though. Um, you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and you have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so there is going to be a comeback around in this, in this connection. Um... I, I don't see this connection being over. Um, I think that, you know, the connection lacks balance right now. Um, and at the end of the week, I do think that there is going to be a comeback around with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, there's going to be a reconnection, but it's still going to lack balance. So be aware of that. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So while there is love here, it is um, there's a feeling here that it's somewhat elusive. It's almost like a um, almost like an unrequited love is kind of the underlying you know issue here. There's a feeling of of the love being just out of reach. So um, let's start clarifying. Very interesting reading. So spirit, why is the devil card here for Pisces? Yeah, so some kind of secret came out and you walked away from this connection. Yeah, there was a secret. There was something that was unknown. And when that secret came out, it caused you to walk away. So you left the connection. There is a, a level of toxicity in this connection. Um, and I still see that level of toxicity. I, I literally can feel it. Even underneath, um, you know, in the outcome, even when the two of you come back together, it is a very deep, strong connection, but there is some toxicity in it. Um, and I'm, I, I, I have to tell you what I see and what I'm feeling. Um, what is the um, Seven of Wands here? Okay, so you have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's that secret again, High Priestess in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're, so you weren't, you weren't fighting for the relationship because I feel as if the secret came out and I feel like it was your secret, Pisces. Now I could be wrong and remember roles can reverse, but with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the high, couple, coupled with the High Priestess in reverse, High Priestess is a keeper of secrets. So the secret that came out, um, it, it was a lie. There was a lie here. There was some great untruth. There was something that was untruthful. It was a secret. It was a lie. There was deceit. And when it came out, you, you opted to walk away. And it left this King of Swords... Your person over here left them feeling very angry, very angry, which is why you walked away. And you do, you opted not to fight for the connection. Um, three for the bottom energy. All right, so we have the seven of wands in the upright. Here we had it in the in the. Uh, reverse the ten of coins and the tower in the reverse okay so i do feel like um i do feel like the commitment ended and that um 
I feel like you came back. I can't, I feel like you came back. You walked away, and if you haven't come back, I feel like you're going to after a tower moment. So you walked away. There was a tower moment. All of this happened. You walked away, but you came back to fight for the connection. After an ending, if you haven't, you're going to, you want to, um, there's a desire to fight for the connection after a tower moment has occurred. So keep in mind that, like I said, roles can reverse, but whoever had the secret, whoever it was that had the secret, the lie that came out, um, walked away. And then after the tower moment, after everything crumbled, after the relationship ended, they came back because they wanted to fight for the connection. And if it hasn't happened, it will. Um, let's look at the other person. Let's look at Pisces person. So why is the Ten of Wands in reverse here? Okay, so we have the Three of Coins. Yeah. So there was a third party introduced and um, I feel as if, I feel like after everything happened, this person got some form of enlightenment, um, causing them to drop their burdens. And now they want to work together with you. So we have the five of pentacles in the reverse twice. So this person wants to come back together with you, Pisces. They want to work together with you. They want to, they want to repair this. I think that they've dropped the burdens. They've let this go. Whatever this is, they're, they're trying to let it go. And they're trying to, to have a more enlightened view of what has taken place. Um, why is the King of Swords here? Yeah, the person was wounded. They were wounded for sure. And it caused them a lot of unhappiness. Um, the secret that came out wounded them. It caused them a lot of unhappiness. There was a huge argument over it with the Knight of Swords. Um, you also have the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Nine of um, Nine of Wands. So, yeah, this is what made them angry. So they, they were wounded by the secret, by the deceit. It made them very unhappy. It, it, was, it was hard for them. Um, but they're overcoming that. I do feel like there was a big argument probably prior to you walking away. Um, but they're trying to get a, gain a new perspective. I don't think that they, they have ever stopped caring for you I, because there's love it, underneath everything. But there's also overwhelming emotion that is kind of blocking the love a little bit. Um, why is the chariot in reverse here? Fool. Yeah, this person feels like they, they can't move forward. They would like to. They would like to have a new beginning with you, but they feel that they can't move forward successfully. Um, and I, I feel like they're blocked. They feel blocked. So I don't know if you've blocked them, Pisces, um, but they feel blocked. They would like to be able to let all of this go. They would like to come back in from the cold. They would like to work with you. Um, and have a new beginning, but they feel blocked, and they feel as if they can't move forward, either, even in their own life. They're unable to move forward. Yeah, so they feel blocked. So why is the death card here for the connection? I don't know if you've blocked them. Maybe you've blocked them. We have strength in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse, the star in reverse, and the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, you like the strength to have a new beginning at this time, and they're they're not taking action either. Um, they they're they're giving up hope, so they're kind of giving up hope. They feel blocked. Um, they do want a new beginning but they're not taking action and you're lacking the strength to have this new beginning. You don't, you don't feel like, um, you don't feel like that it, it's going to be a prosperous new beginning. So what's affecting the connection is 
but it is transforming. The connection, the connection ended. We see that here. We see that in the connection itself. Um, why is the ten of, and also in what's affecting it? Why is the ten of pentacles here? Yeah, three different places. All right, five of cups in the reverse and the two of swords in the reverse. So a decision is going to have to be made to put the past behind you, to put the regrets behind you for each of you. You're each going to have to make a decision to, to, to put the past behind you, to, to let the past go, to release it in order for this to transform. Can I have three for the... Uh, that was already turned. Let me fix that first. All right. Can I have three for the outcome, please? Okay. So in the outcome, we see that all of things are still unbalanced. There is a desire to um, have this uh, reconnect. Um, so for some of you, you will actually go ahead and reconnect. For others, there's just that desire. I can tell you the desire is strong on the side of um, your person. Um, I do think, though, that you also will be willing to fight for this connection. Um, so you both kind of want the connection to come back together. But at the same time, you're both kind of giving up on it. So you're both going to have to make a decision that you're going to let the past go. Um, you're going to release the regrets and, you know, if you want to transform the connection. So, um, at the end of the week, I do think that you're both going to remain somewhat unhappy. I don't see that your person is going to take action, um, even though they do want to reconcile with you. They want to come back around. For some of you, that might happen, but for the majority, I don't think it will at the end of the week. Um, because I don't see them taking action. Um, on your side, Pisces, I think that you're going to become very clear about the toxicity in this connection. I think you're getting more and more clear about it um, on a daily basis. And I think that you're gonna be very clear about the, the imbalance in the relationship, what it is that's making you unhappy, um, and perhaps the reasons why things you know, took place as they did. Um, so I don't see this being resolved by the end of the week, but there is there is definitely still a bond there, and I don't see this ending, um, I, you know, completely. I don't see it being completely over. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Cups, which indicates to me that there is still a lot of love in this connection. So um, I don't see it being over, but I don't see it really coming back together completely. And I think you're going to become really clear on, on the toxicity in the connection um, over the next week. I think that the person you're dealing with is just, they're feeling pretty blocked right now, but they are also getting over, um, you know, these feelings of betrayal that they, they've experienced and, and the anger because they're pretty angry too. So let's go ahead and get some Lover's Oracles for you guys and see if we can get any further clarification? I think we have three on the table, and that's what we're going to take. Where do you want them, Spirit? Here. Okay. All right. So, for you, how frustrating is this, Pisces? It says, only time will tell. Only time will tell. Interesting. Um, for the cross watcher, it says manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So this is an indication for your person or for cross watcher to, to begin to follow the guidance of their heart, to listen to your heart. And then for the connection, oh, well, there you have it. I said that the connection was transforming. Um, it says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. That is, um, that's amazing. That's amazing. So 
All right. I hope this has been helpful, Pisces. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope you will do so. Like and share the video. A very interesting reading, so I do read all your comments. Drop me a comment. Let me know what's going on. And until I see you next time, namaste.